You know, in life, we all face ourselves. The biggest fight, it's life. So boxing will be a little resume of that every day. Discipline, respect, fear, our courage, all these things that help you to become a, a man, you find them in the boxing gym. The biggest fight of all is not on the ring, is when you wake up in the morning, is when, uh, when you leave the belly of your mom. That's why all the babies cry. You know when they get birth, because they know it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. You can play soccer, you can play basketball, but you cannot play boxing. It's tough. Like I said, you not only lose point, you lose point and you get punched in your face. Cinema and boxing, a long love story. As soon as I step into a boxing gym, I realized that something was uh, talking to me. I couldn't still explain it today, but um, something was talking to me very um, raw from the bottom of, 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 of my soul. And um, you add this to the discipline that goes with it, because it's a very physical sport. And physical means breathing. Breathing means living. So it's all connected. So when you have a lot of demons in your life and you want to face them, I think boxing is, is, a, is an amazing sport to do that. Because you fight against your opponent, but you also fight against yourself first. I did a lot of sports in my life, but the feeling having of, of being part of, of a boxing team, of a boxing gym, it's something very special. So yes, I believe that boxing will always be there around you to, to take the right decision in your life if you did some time with boxing, if you dedicate yourself with boxing, if you meet boxing for real. I think since human beings are on earth, uh, fighting has always been something in their DNA. And, and first they start a fight with the, with the hands. So also it's, it, it brings that to the table, I think. So that's why I believe boxing is very special. And also special because it's universal. It's something that, it's, that, that it's like music. You don't really need to understand. You know, you know what, what you have to do. It's two hands, a man, same weight. And, 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 and then techniques against techniques, against talent against talent, against men's will against men's will. So it's very, very uh, dramatically intense. It's almost like a Greek tragedy. That's what I believe, boxing is very special. In boxing, the first one who, who come to my mind and not because of the fame and the name, but because of what he achieved. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, of course, he was a living legend and is a legend, but for so many reasons. He was a, a champion in the ring and outside the ring. And that's why you understand the, the, the bigger picture of boxing. This guy inspired so many people, so many communities, so many countries, so many souls just by being him, what he accomplished on the ring and, and especially outside the ring, how he was able to use also his fame and, and his gift from God as a boxer. Um, yeah, very close to a prophet, subhanAllah, like very close to something special. So yes, Muhammad Ali is one of them for sure.
if I have to mention just one. Because you're gonna find better boxer than Muhammad Ali, greater boxer than him. But to find both at the same time, like uh, having that kind of dedication and, 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 and belief, faith in what he does, was very impressive, very impressive. I think that kind of, of pedigree of human beings doesn't exist no more. Cassius Clay, 1960 Olympic boxing champion from Louisville, has made a great start as a professional. He's won all seven of his fights, five of them by knockout. Now his fights are on bigger games. I'm young, I'm handsome, I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. To come back to legends, legends in boxing, it doesn't mean that you never lost and you never do. It's the way that you committed yourself, the way that you give what you have to give to the ring. You know, there is legend who lost a lot of fights, you know, and there is legend who never lost any fights. It's the way that the, the audience, the fans portrayed you. There is people who, who fight very carefully and very technically, and there's people who fight with a big heart. So it's all the relationship that you have with the audience and, 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 uh, and the fighters. And, and the commitment that you have in it. And then legends, I think, is when you, you, you're able to outcome the, the, when you're able to do the impossible, you know? When, when you're surprising all the time and all the time and, and when you're able to do it again and again and again. And that's also the big drama of boxing. You can have all the belt and the next fight is the most important fight, again and again and again. I'm very, very lucky to be part of uh, Vasily Lomachenko, uh, Alexander Usyk, uh, uh, Bez Putin, all the team, forgive me if I forget names, there is, we, are, we are a big team. Let's put it this way, Klibas management with Igis. I'm blessed. To leave all these things uh, next to them when it comes to the training camp, all these little moments that, 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 that you cannot buy. Loma, in French, how do you feel? Ça va. Et ça va bien ou ça va bien bien? Ça va bien. <laughs> non, pas de côté. Je vais lui apprendre les, mo les mauvais mots. C'est connard. Connard. Oh, fils de pute. Fils de pute. <laughs> I told you, Finn. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. One week from tomorrow in New York City. Yes! As a boxing fan, I'm blessed. Um, because that, uh, that, that helped me to be able to live my dream that I couldn't achieve as a boxer because I wanted to become a world champion myself when I was a kid. And, and obviously, uh, the destiny decided differently for me and I ended up doing movies. So, but it always stayed on my mind, on the back of my mind that one day I'll be able to manage people, help them, whatever, whatever, come back to boxing in a way because boxing gave me so much in my life. Cinema and boxing, a long love story. Very deep story. I think boxing is very cinematographically strong. If you take a look of those very popular movies like Rocky, Rocky One is the story of this guy who fight for a better life, to set up with his wife and, and become a man. And boxing help him to achieve all this. So there is many, many um, great boxing movies in the history of cinema and from the 40s to now they keep doing movies about boxing and some of them are masterpieces like literally masterpieces and it can go from a boxer who finished boxing the life after or it can go a boxer who's fighting right now it's all about the life around the boxing what's going on around it was interesting. Yeah, I remember that movie called The Champion with John Voight, the dedication of the father who's gonna, who cannot fight no more because he's sick. And if he fights, he can die, but he, he wants to be a hero in the front of his son. So he decided to fight and, and, and something bad is gonna happen. And, oh my God, it's a very, very strong movie. Cinema loves that. Cinema loves the story of men who fail didn't give up, get up again, fail again, didn't give up, get up and win. When everybody thought he was losing. This is the story of boxing. This is why I think the audience relate to boxing movies a lot. Even if they never been, they never boxed in their entire life. 
even if they never wear a boxing glove. But the power of the drama on screen and the power of reality of what you're seeing, it's a mirror to, a, a normal, to normal people. That's why I believe boxing movies are very special in all the history of cinema. And you can go through Italian movies if you go to Rocco and his brother, Lucchino Visconti. Unbelievable film about the relationship. And boxing, a very small role, has a small role in that movie, but it's almost the backspin. It's almost the foundation of the movie because of, of, of that. And that's the best definition of boxing. It's definition of life. And when you know that the biggest, the biggest fight, the biggest fight of all, is not on the ring, is when you wake up in the morning, is when, when you leave the belly of your mom. That's why all the babies cry. You know when they get birth, because they know it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. <laughs> they already know. So you know when a baby get birth, you know when the baby, you know they all cry. Why? Because they know life is tough. They know the fight they're gonna have to do. <laughs> That's why I believe, yeah. So, but yeah, the biggest fight of life, it's, it's life itself. So boxing will help you to understand that it's not one round, not two round, and it's a long process. I think there is not recipe and there is not secret for, for dreams. There is meeting yourself, fighting yourself, and try to give to yourself the condition of doing what you want to do. If you want to be a sport, guys, don't wait to go to the gym, train even in the morning. Be passionate, passionate. You have to put a lot of passion in what you do. If you want me to be really honest with you, it's even more than passion. It's obsession. It's not being in the front of people and said, oh, I'm the best, oh, look what I'm gonna do, or look what I does, or look, the, th is, the competition is not between you and the other guys. It's between you and you. It's with the men in the mirror in the morning. So you can, dreams can take many different forms. So it's just to listen to yourself and, and, and accept and also accept who you are, work with yourself to find who you are because you're never gonna meet nobody if you never meet yourself too. And it started with yourself. And then from there, meet somebody that can go away with you on the way, on, 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 on that journey. Dream is exclusivity. It's being able to be exclusive with what you do. We talk about boxing is maybe the best example in the world. If you're not obsessed with that training, somebody will do it better than you. You know, so, so any type of dream, it's very close to obsession. And don't count, don't count. Don't do numbers, don't do accounting. Just, just, just do.